claim that half the class should be able to finish exam three for my STA 3123 online class, which has 29 questions and a 200 minute time limit in less than 145 minutes. A random selection of completion times is included below. Use a 5% significance level and the sign test to test my claim. Okay, so clearly this phrase, test my claim, indicates it's a hypothesis testing procedure and the fact that they're telling us to use the sign test gives us no other choice but to go ahead and begin that procedure. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with the claim for the sign test. Remember that the claim and the sign test uses the symbol eta, which is the population symbol for the median. And what is this problem saying? It's saying that they should be able to finish in less than 145 minutes. And I say that half the class should be able to finish. Well, half the class means that, of course, I'm saying the median here, right, is equal to, right, I'm saying is equal to 145 minutes. Why is that true? Well, if you think about it from this point of view, we're saying that if the median is 145, it means half finish with longer amount of time, half finish with less amount of time. That's basically the idea of the procedure, right? So again, if the median is 145, it means that half will finish with less time, half will finish with more time. So that's basically what this problem is saying. Okay, so I'm taking that right from the statement here. I claim that half the class should be able to finish in less than 145 minutes. All right, good. So now at this point, what we're gonna do then is to go ahead and you know, get HO and HA like we always do. And it's very simple when we're dealing with the sign test. We use the same procedure as always. If this is an equal sign here, then HO and the claim are the same. And of course, HA then would have to express the opposite idea. So the opposite of equal to is not equal to. And then from there, we move on to the data step. Now in the data step, all we have to do is identify N and alpha. That's really all we're doing here. The rest of the data manipulation is pretty simple. So we're just basically looking at it afterwards to determine what our, um, what our test stat is. So let's first count how many values we have to figure that out. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine values. So I would put nine here, except for I wanna be careful and make sure that I don't have any numbers that are equal to the value that I see in HO. Do I see any values there that are equal? I don't. So at that point, I'm going to go ahead and say, ah, n then is strictly 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. n is exactly 9 here. There's no numbers that have to be discarded because they're equal to the value that I see in HO. That's good. Now, alpha is 0.05. Our next step then is to come up with the test stat. So we're going to need something called S smaller, right? and we'll need to calculate S bigger. Okay, so what's S smaller? Well, that's the number of values that are smaller than 145. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. I count six numbers smaller. That must mean that there are three bigger. Let's see if we can find three that are bigger than 145. That one is, yes, that one is, that's the second, and that one is, that's the third. There are three values only bigger. So we did our count correctly. Now remember, for the test stat, we take the larger of these two, right? Which number is bigger? This one is, so we're gonna let our test stat be six. Okay, so that's our test stat. Now we have to get our p-value. Remember that our p-value is defined as two times. The two comes from the fact that it's a two-tailed test, otherwise you would not have the two, but the rest of it would be the same. So the p-value is two times the probability that x is greater than or equal to s. But remember that x is a binomial random variable with n equals 9, right? p equals to 0.5, and we're going to go down under where we have to find the k value. So let's talk about that. How are we going to fill this in here? This is going to be two times the probability that x is greater than or equal to 6, because that's our s value, right? Now, we know that our table does not allow us to get probabilities like this. We can't do greater than or equal to. It only does less than or equal to. So we've got to convert this into a statement that involves less than or equal to. The trick to doing that is to do two times. It's just the two brought down, right? And then what we do is we do one minus the probability that x is less than or equal to one number less than this one. This one is six. We take one away from it, we get five. And so that's the technique, basically. This is equivalent to what we have to find here. All right, and now we can use the table. So now what we're gonna do is go to the table. We're gonna look up five 
under n equals to 9 and p is equal to 0.5 on the binomial table. And that will give us the answer for this part here. Then we'll do 1 minus that part and then twice that result and that's our p value. Okay, so let's go to the table now and look that stuff up. Okay, so we're looking at the binomial table for n equals 9 and we're going down to the 0.5 column and, oh, and down to the k equals 5 value. So we get 0 0.746, 0 0.746. Okay, so the value, value we get from our table is 0.746. So we'll have 2 times 1 minus 0.746. Okay, so uh, 1 minus 0.746 is 0.254, so it'll be 2 times 0.254. Okay, and of course that's going to be 50.8%, uh, or in other words, 0 0.508. Okay, so with that being our p-value, remember that's our p-value, when you compare that against alpha, you're going to see that it's quite large than alpha, right? So since P is greater than alpha, right? Because P, remember, is 0 0.508, which is greater than 0 0.05. We do not reject HO, and therefore we do not support HA. Okay, so there's our a pair of initial conclusions. And since our claim is the same as HO, we're going to be using this wording here, right? Do not reject HO. So we'll say the sample data does not allow us to reject the claim. The sample data does not allow us to reject the claim. And that's it.